most people will recognize these day-to-day -day objects, but what most people don't know is that all of these harness the same properties of a revolutionary product called PTFE, or to give it its full name, polytetrafluoroethylene. It has lots of different properties. It's very corrosion resistant. It's chemically inert. It doesn't react with other materials. And it has a very high melting temperature. But above all of these, it's very, very slippery. And being slippery means that Teflon is a great tool for overcoming the forces of friction, something that's hard to do with a standard metal. So here I have a sled connected to a metal tray underneath and about 45 kilos of bricks and sand. And as I pull the sled along, the tray is going to have a huge amount of friction against the metal sheet here. And that friction is retarding the motion. As I start to pull against this now, you can see I've got five kilograms and I've still got no movement. So that's the friction preventing my sled from moving. I'm up to seven kilograms, 10 kilograms, 11, 12, and there it goes. Ah. So that's about 120 newtons of force to pull those along. To see how PTFE performs, a metal tray is prepared, then sprayed with the slippery coating, and cured at 430 degrees Fahrenheit. Wow, look at that. That looks incredibly smooth. So let's give it a go. I've got two kilograms, five, six, Seven, and look, it's starting to move already. Seven kilograms here to overcome the friction. And you compare that to 12 kilograms, that's 120 newtons. So that's about 50 newtons difference to move the same amount of weight. PTFE is made of carbon and fluorine atoms. Fluorine has a high electronegativity, meaning it repels other atoms. The fluorine wraps around the carbon, preventing the carbon from reacting to any outside forces. The result is a frictionless, slippery substance. The sled can carry up to 40% more weight when pulled across the PTFE coated sheet, the equivalent of a 5 foot 9 engineer. How much are we seeing? Wow. There you go, 12 kilograms, 120 newtons. How about that?